Now, I'm a massive fan of potato gratin. I grew up with it, of course, coming from a French family. And there's many different ways of doing a potato gratin. You can do a provincial style potato gratin, which doesn't have too much cream in it, or the classic one, which does have a lot of cream in it. Now, for the provincial side of the gratin, I'm using a lot of onions, capers and some anchovies and tomatoes and then for the classic side it's just usually potatoes and the cream. Mixing these together makes a great combo. First we need to make an onion compote so in a big wide pan just like this heat some olive oil about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half along with 40 grams of butter now I'm not going to make a small gratin, I'm making a big gratin that's going to serve at least eight people. Melt the butter and then add seven onions. Now it seems like a lot of onions, but this is going to cook down to a quarter of its size. It is also going to cook for an hour and a half. So just coat all of the onions in that delicious butter and olive oil and also season it with a very good pinch of salt. The capers are also salty, so just take that into consideration when you're adding the salt. I like a good amount of capers for this and stir it around. And then for the anchovies. The anchovies are not going to give this a fishy taste at all. Quite the opposite, it's just going to give it a really nice savoury flavour. Three anchovies for this amount of onions and finely chopping them. And what will happen is after cooking them for an hour and a half, they'll melt into the onions. You won't even know that they're there. So just mix it into the oil. And then again, give it a stir. Now, when you're making onion confit like this, it is a great idea to pop the lid on so they don't cook too fast. You want them to be really soft and sweet. So low and slow is the key to getting these onions right. While that's happening, you can prepare your potatoes. I've already prepared my potatoes. Seven Desiree potatoes. Seems like a lot, but like I said, I'm making it for a lot of people. And a great idea is to use a slicer, so a mandolin or an attachment on your food processor, just so you can get the potatoes as thin as possible. You almost want to see through the potatoes. I have a pet hate when it comes to potato gratin. I hate thick potatoes. I want it to be really soft and lush. And by getting them as thin as this, what's going to happen is we're going to compact it together and the starch in the potatoes is going to make it extra creamy, along with the cream, of course. Now, while the onions are cooking, I'll prep some tomatoes that will go between the layers. So just your classic tomatoes and with a sharp knife, thinly slice them and season them with salt. So they're ready to go for our gratin when the onions are cooked. An hour and a half later and the onions have reduced by three quarters. So the heat can go off and now for the fun part which is assembling. This is a large baking dish like a lasagna dish and I've just put a little bit of butter around it so it doesn't stick. And now for the layers of potatoes to start with. And this is a really therapeutic process. You start with the potatoes put one layer down. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but at the same time, you want them just to gently overlap each other without doubling up on it. So pressing it down. And then for the first layer, always do two, just like I'm doing here. A little bit of the onion, about two tablespoons. And then with your hands, just gently spread it out a little bit more. Now for a layer of tomatoes, and we don't want any of the juices, so remove the juices, just Give it a bit of a drain off and then spread them out. You can leave a little bit of space between the tomatoes. Then a little bit of cheese and you can use cheddar cheese. I love to use Gruyere cheese. Freshly grated of course because it always tastes so much better. And then a nice big handful of that grated cheese between each layer. Last but certainly not least, we need to add the cream. And this is the key. Don't add too much cream because there's so many layers. So a small drizzle of the cream, about two tablespoons per layer. Now all we need to do is add some finely grated nutmeg. And then we can continue the process until I've used up all of these potatoes.
Now I've just done the last layer of cream and then another little sprinkle of Gruyere cheese. And now this goes in the oven. But before you put it in the oven, here's a great little tip. Get a bit of baking paper, pop it on top. You can either put foil on it and put it in straight away. Or if you want to compress it a little bit more, I like to get another tray and then pop it on top. And then we'll get those perfect compressed thick layers of the gratin. Now this bakes for about 45 minutes at 180 degrees. Then I'm going to take the tray off and the baking paper and cook it for a further 35 to 45 minutes or until the potatoes are tender and it's golden brown. How good does this potato gratin look? It's cheesy, it's creamy, it's golden brown on the top and that's the most important thing. If it doesn't get too brown and crispy, all you need to do is just turn the oven to grill and just grill it just to finish it off. Now to present it, I love the addition of freshly chopped chives just to freshen the whole thing up. Perfect. And then sprinkle that over the top. And as I said at the beginning, this is perfect to feed many mouths, maybe for a feast. And it's really great if you serve it with a roast chook, some lamb or a simple barbecue.